Assalamualaikum doctors. In this video, I am discussing the management portion of constipations. So, definition of constipation is that infrequent heart feces or difficult or painful defecation for more than or equal one month. So, infrequent or heart feces. What is soiling? Soiling is the overflow as a result of fecal impactions. Loose and offensive stool in the child's underwear without control. Incopresis. Incopresis is the passage of a normal stool in appropriate places, often associated with behavioral problems. So, incopresis is in appropriate places, behavioral problems. Fecal incontinency, soiling in the presence of an anatomical or organic lesion. Then, fecal impactions, hard fecal mass in the lower abdomen, a dilated uh, rectum impacted with the stool or excessive stool in the colon identified radiologically. So, this definition we understand constipation, swelling, swelling is overflow as a result of fecal impactions, incopresis is behavioral problem, incontinency is anatomical or organic lesions. And impaction is that um, heart fecal mass. So, what investigation we do for constipation? First of all, most children with chronic constipation require minimal investigations, careful history and physical examination to exclude the red flags. Red flags of constipation are early onset of constipations, faltering growth, neuropathic bowel, heart sprung disease, anterior enas, anal stenosis, delayed cow's milk protein allergy in the first three years. So, this uh, red flag we need to keep our mind when you take the constipation history. These are first of all early onset of constipations. Early onset of constipation, faltering growth, neuropathic bowel, heart sprung disease, anterior enas, anal stenosis, delayed cow milk protein allergy in first three years of life. Then we do the thyroid function test, cecal, uh, celiac panel, sweat test. Thyroid function test, celiac panel, and sweat test. Sweat test if there is delayed passage of meconium. Then abdominal x-ray if history is suspicious but clinical examination is difficult. Rectal biopsy if history of delayed passage of meconium, constipation since neonatal period, history of abdominal distension and vomiting, failure to thrive or faltering growth and family history of heart spun. How What examination we do for constipation? Weight and height. Then abdominal examinations is if not painful, abdominal distensions, fecal mass, scar for heart spun correction or colostomy. Then inspection of the perianal area, appearance, position of the anus or evidence of streptococcal infections, spine and lower limb neuromuscular examination, spina bifida. So the examination of a constipation, weight and height, abdomen examination, we do the neurology and back examination, perianal examination and um, spine and lower limb neuromuscular examination we do. And treatment of uh, constipation or headlines are first of all education, diet and lifestyle, behavioral management, medications and supporting the child and family. Education give the parents clear explanation of the pathophysiology of constipation and swelling. Okay, the diet and lifestyle are used in combination with laxatives. Ensure adequate fluid intake, high fiber diet recommended, and encourage the physical activities. Behavioral management. So again, education give the parents clear explanation of the pathophysiology of the constipation and swelling. Diet and lifestyle are used in combination with laxative. Ensure the adequate fluid intake, high fiber diet recommended, and encourage physical activities. Behavioral management are use of behavioral management in combination with medications, decrease times to remission, regular toileting, unhurried time on toilet after meals, correct toilet positions, maintain the diaries of stool frequency combined with reward system, regular review and positive reinforcement, discourage negative responses to soiling from family, encourage older children to take the responsibility, may need counseling for psychology, referral in uh, case of motivational or behavioral problem. So, behavioral management like, uh, you know, combination of medication, decrease the time of emission, regular toileting, correct toilet position, maintain the diary of school frequency, um, positive reinforcement. These are medications are disimpaction in the presence of impacted stool. Disimpaction in the presence of impacted stool, mm, macrogel negatives, movical, apetitic um, plane, fecal impaction dose up to a maximum for 7 days. Stimulate negative are Senna or sodium picosulfate. Uh, then um, review all the children within after one week of disimpactions. So first we are giving disimpaction in the presence of impacted stool. Disimpaction. Macrogel laxative we give. If laxative not working, we give the senna or sodium picosulfate to stimulate that. And after one week we will of the disimpaction will be monitored. Consult and advice for rectal disimpaction only if oral disimpaction fails by sodium cited enema. Pediatric surgeon for manual evacuation under general anesthesia. Maintenance therapy for 4 to 6 months to prevent the recurrence and to establish a regular bowel habit. Gradual withdrawal of laxative. If regular bowel habits and good sensation of need to open bowels. What are the type of laxatives used in, for maintenance? Macrogel sachets. 1 to 2 or 1 sachet daily if less than 1 year. If no improvement within a month, add stimulate laxative. Senna. 
this um, then by sacodyl or sodium picosulfate if a macrogel macrogel not tolerated give sodium uh, docosate or lactulose if less than 6 month give glycerol suppository once daily change milk to hydrolyzed formula if delayed cow's milk protein intolerance so you understand that um, what is the uh, treatment of that is first of all education the parents about what is constipation we discuss then behavioral changes we tell that some lifestyle modifications fluid these are then we tell uh, that um, some medications uh, first we are giving disinfections uh, oral lactulose uh, not working then senna or picosulfate to stimulate that after one week um, then um, talk with the consultant then uh, about, about the uh, uh, sodium citrate enema, we give the disimpound rectal disinfections. Then pediatric surgeon manual evacuation under general anesthesia. So the question is when to seek advice from pediatric gastroenterologist. Organic cause of constipation suspected. Disinfection orally or rectally unsuccessful. Soiling abdominal pain continue despite treatment. Children age less than one year with fecal infection or not responding to maintenance therapy. To seek advice the pediatric gastroenterologist that organic cause of constipation is suspected, disinfection orally or rectally is unsuccessful, soiling or abdominal pain continues despite treatment and change children age less than one year with fecal infection of not responding to maintenance therapy. Supportive child and family are organized review within one week then regular and frequent local contact and by telephone to prevent impaction. Provide contact telephone number of parents if available. Discuss timing of doses and emphasize need for good compliance. Lies with the child's uh, health visitor, community, pediatric nurse and or school nurse, child psychologically support. So this is the management of constipation. Thank you.